governments to have secrets anymore yeah. that we won't discover. It's been an extraordinary couple of years, what with WikiLeaks and Edward Snowden, mm -hmm. etc. I mean, governments are literally scrambling to right. hold on to their secrets. Well, look, I mean, for, uh, as to your first point, um, when the Osama bin Laden raid happened, uh, there were scores of officials in Washington, from the White House, from the Pentagon, elsewhere, who were very happy to leak information to journalists that made the whole thing seem like this meticulously organized and executed operation. And they told us there was a dog named Cairo that went along with them that should be the canine hero of the universe. And um, that there was a firefight that had taken place and that bin Laden had thrown one of his wives in front of him at the end. And it turned out that the, the whole thing was just propaganda. And that almost nothing they said at the beginning about that raid turned out to be true, except that Osama bin Laden was killed. Um, Contrast that with our efforts to uncover how it was uh, that this same force um, killed pregnant women and an Afghan police commander allied with the United States. I'm, I'm approaching the three-year anniversary of, uh, of a filing for a freedom of information on this, uh, on this operation. They refuse. They've stopped even responding to my request for information. They're violating the law by not providing me an answer. Um, on this night raid, even if the answer is we're not going to give you any documents. They, they refuse to follow their own laws on this. So that the, the night that Osama bin Laden was killed, there were, there were other night raids that took place in Afghanistan that we know nothing about. So the, on the issue of secrecy, when, when the White House leaks information that's classified, um, it's, it's considered in the interests of the American people. That's how they defend it and say this is, you know, this is something the American people should know. When a whistleblower who believes that uh, their own government is involved with violations of the Constitution of the United States or involved with violations of the rights of ordinary citizens, this administration, the Obama administration, goes after them and targets them. It's, it's not that, that nations don't have a right to secrets or a right to have spy agencies, but when the state starts to eat its own and starts to use uh, its spy tactics on its own citizens, uh, then we've hit a crisis. And I think we've hit that point. And, and, and under President Obama, he claimed that he was going to operate the most transparent administration in American history. Uh, quite the opposite has been true. He's, he's been a sort of um, incredible usurper of the powers of the executive branch of the United States government um, in a way that, that is way beyond uh, what, what Bush and Cheney were able to do. And how much